spoiler alert kitties i'm not a nintendo youtuber instead i'm an emulation youtuber move over buckos there's a new sheriff in town when it comes to the emulation side of things bob wolf the wolf den yeah it's time to take that wolf out back and shoot her like old yeller because you're yesterday's news bucko it's now about rgt mr sujano sometimes i like to sing your name like dirty diana by michael jackson mr sujano no mr sujano no and i mean you have a nice soothing voice and you've actually taught me a lot about emulation stuff without me actually telling you that because i watched your videos when i was setting stuff up but hey you gotta move aside man because the king of emulation is in town the sheriff of emulation is in town and my good friends over at keep retro sent me over the anbernick rg 35 xx because i review handhelds like this on this channel now emulation i love emulation and you should love emulation too so what is this system obviously a bunch of handhelds come out from china it seems like every day what does this system bring to the table why is it unique and of course what's the price point of the system and should you want to pick one of these up that's what we're going to talk about in today's video so if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment and share hit the bell notification as well we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers but let's talk about the and Nick RG 35 XX and if this is the ultimate budget retro handheld because like I said we need to talk about the price of this system and we're coming in at under $70 right now over on my friend keep retros website so I'll have a link to that in the description box down below if this device is any good we have to actually unbox it we actually have to play it yes i've already taken it out of the box but i'm filming things in out of order sync you don't need to know that though but what you do need to know is that this thing is under 70 dollars and promises to play things like playstation 1 nes super famicom of course your super nintendos your sega genesis some arcade stuff on here too so it seems like it packs quite a punch seems like the screen is very nice but let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up and then take a look at the game games and see how they run and play on this device alrighty so here it is the amber Nick RG 35 XX I don't really know where they came up with the name of this you could see pretty basic packaging here you know it is a budget system it is just packaging who really cares they were nice enough to give us some wet wipes and dry wipes I guess maybe if your fingers are gross or your screen is gross we got instructions too but much like home improvement on the Super Nintendo real men don't need instructions so we're, we're not going to read a single one of these hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass here is the unit itself though now they did ask me if i had a specific colorway i wanted and i wanted the game boy colorway and this this is a fine looking system here here's our little cord to charge things as well but this is a fine fine looking system we have a d-pad we have four face buttons start select a menu button very nice build quality on this it doesn't feel super cheap we have an hd out you can actually play this on your television as well we have some different dials here on the side of course i had it upside down but you know what like i said we're, we're men we we don't need all this stuff here's a little volume button you know pretty basic here's one of the interesting catches though it has buttons on the back and i wasn't quite sure how i was going to like that and that kind of plays into effect as we go along but like i said very nice build quality on this it doesn't feel like it's something super cheap especially coming in at the price point that we're talking about you know hard plastics here quality stuff the d-pad seems to feel pretty nice the buttons seem to feel pretty nice but none of this matters if the thing's a piece of crap and like it doesn't play games right or it has problems or something like that now this does have a 3.5 inch ips screen ips screens are kind of becoming the norm nowadays when it comes to that we'll go ahead and take out our little charging cable you do need a power brick in order to access things here and here is the menu system for our system you can play around with it really you're gonna want to look at like video games and then settings and stuff looking at the settings here basic stuff you know you can load from different sd cards if you want to put in your own sd card this does come preloaded with games on it you can adjust things like the clock and the brightness of the screen which we'll take a look at as we go along but it's about games we're going to select our memory card the internal one and we can see the different systems we have here playstation one vertical games okay that's kind of weird your various arcade consoles your game boys your nintendos your super nintendos none of this should come as a huge surprise to you but the the nice thing about this system is of course 
the convenience factor that all these emulators and ROMs are already on here. Now, it doesn't have a full list for all of the systems, but you could see here, taking a look at some PlayStation 1 games, we pretty much have the games that we're looking for on here, our Resident Evils, our, our Tekkens, and stuff like that. And you might be saying, well, wouldn't it be difficult to play some of these games considering there's not an analog stick? And I mean, may maybe I'm, I'm cool with the D-pad as long as it works and a game is designed for it. So let's check out Tekken 3, you know, one of the higher end PlayStation 1 games, a game that I thoroughly enjoy playing from time to time. And you can really see like this IPS screen is very nice. I really like the colors that this screen provides. The different brightness levels are cool too. You know, it, it impacts the battery life like all these devices do but you can see here we're running the game exactly how the game should be ran now we're not going to be able to do things like enhance visuals or something like that like we could on a mini pc or something like duck station you know all the emulators are already built in and you know it's not a system for something like that it's a system that's plug and play you know simplistic you have the four by three aspect ratio on here because it, you're not going to be playing widescreen games on this it is for retro gaming so off to a very good start we can utilize our menu button here see some different options as well should we want to change anything we'll adjust the brightness a little bit because i'm a bright boy you can see here you can actually do like hd visuals or scan line visuals if you like the older style of stuff so very cool you know a, a lot of options packed into this budget device and so far so good i'm liking what i'm seeing here now this was kind of very interesting to me because i i don't understand why there's a whole section for vertical mode like what what are we, what are we doing here this thing it doesn't have tape mode on it or or does it because it kind of does have a, a weird in a weird way it has a tape mode to it i think this is kind of not very good functioning wise um i tried to go into the options here and just see it has vertical enabled and so you use the the d-pad to move and you use the triggers the, the buttons on the back in order to jump and shoot um maybe in time you could get used to it for me personally this definitely felt more like a gimmick than something that i would actually use and i would actually be interested in using um to jump you got to hit one button to shoot you got to hit another button it did become a little bit easier to manage over time but yeah it definitely felt gimmicky to me it didn't feel like something i would use very often and you know you're kind of restricting the screen size the screen isn't huge to begin with but i guess if you're like a huge fan of tape mode games maybe maybe you'll find some fun i don't know it, it definitely felt a bit weird and a bit gimmicky but hey you know cool that it's there cool that it has more game options like that because you know it's it's all about games it's all about libraries of games different sorts of things that you can play on this device you have a bunch of arcade games that you could play most of the classics i was surprised that wrestlefest was not on here where is my wrestlefest i feel like wrestlefest should be available on every single device and of course you can like hook up sd cards and crap to it and you know all that sort of stuff that's cool here are some different sorts of other games that you could play more arcade games i'm just kind of showing you guys some of the list of the titles that are available on various systems most systems do not have a full console library as you'll see here but it feels like it has the classics on here it has the games that you'll probably want to play except it doesn't have wrestlefest on there which i find it just i don't know that, that's kind of behooves me it behooves me did you know that there was a die hard game on the pc engine because i sure as hell did not know that and i like die hard i think the movies are great i love die hard arcade on the sega saturn or dynamite deca with a strange skin on it for some reason but i never knew there was a, a die hard game on the pc engine and comparative to the nes it is night and freaking day this is a fun video i don't know what they're saying i don't know what the story is but i mean i know the basic story of die hard look at this game why did we not get this game stateside is japan really big into die hard to the point of where they needed their own die hard video game that was exclusive to japan i don't understand this i think this game seems like it has a lot of promise to it it seems like it's a lot of fun and it's a hell of a lot better than the die hard game that we got here on the nes so that was a little bit perplexing to me but this is a fun game and that's what i like 
about devices like this. You're going to find games that maybe you never knew existed. You never, you never heard of this game before. You know, maybe it was a region-based thing. Maybe it was just a system-based thing. You never played, you know, Game Boy Color games growing up because you were a bit older. Whatever the case may be, that, that's neither here nor there. I like the fact that this has a lot of cool stuff built into it. We're going to check out the arcade emulation side of things because obviously, you know, there's some heavier processing games here, games that sort of rely on speed and beautiful graphics and stuff like that. Obviously, X-Men versus Street Fighter was a piece of crap on the PlayStation 1, brilliant on the Sega Saturn, of course, though. But how does the arcade version run on our Anbernick RG35XX, not triple X, double X? I mean, you'll, you'll see here in a second surprisingly well surprisingly well and that's kind of the overall motif on here i feel like these games were curated for some of the systems these games that were picked and curated for this are games that are going to work great and that's probably why they decided to put this that or the other on here this was obviously a d-pad workout game i was interested to see you know how the d-pad sort of performed would i be able to throw all my moves and stuff like that and thankfully i really had no problems i would say it was kind of confusing at some times because you only have the four face buttons and then you have the four triggers on the back trying to figure out what the controls were automatically mapped to now that's not necessarily necessarily a slight on this system it's more so emulation devices in general but i did want to mention that because i did feel like at times switching from system to system especially it was kind of like well, what the hell are the buttons you know <laughs> what am i doing here where's my where's my strong attack instead of my my medium punch and stuff like that but overall you know this game ran great it was fantastic it looked great it sounded great you know we'll just go out to the menu here and check out a few more things but i'm definitely really liking this system and i think at the price point it's it's really good you know we'll take a look at the libraries of some of these systems so you can see you know what has a full library what maybe doesn't have a full library super nintendo i believe it has a full library on it you know there's tons of stuff on there uh most sega genesis games are on there as well nes it seemed like there was a good amount of games on there and of course with some famicom games as well a lot of import games on here you know it's a bit of a mishmash at times but i feel like like i said you know there's there's the games that you'll want to play nice to have master system or sega game gear and sega master system stuff on here as well because the master system had a bit of a larger viewpoint of a screen but everything we played on here worked and i think that's very important so we're going to check out one more game very briefly here and then we'll get to my final thoughts on this system but i think at the price point and with the build quality we have of this system it's a really good retro handheld now you could spend you know forty dollars more fifty dollars more and get a system that can play a lot more stuff like dreamcast uh you know some lower um and maybe even you know psp stuff on there but that's not what the system is designed for this is at a budget price point with a high build quality a really good screen a, a solid audio i know we didn't hear any of the audio from the system yeah it would just sound kind of weird but i think overall like this definitely has a place on the marketplace you know if you just want to play 16-bit games and a few playstation one games you could do that with this system and it's something you can just throw into your pocket and forget about it and then just use it whenever you want so here's a little castlevania symphony of the night i just kind of wanted to show you guys this game running on the system not that this was a taxing game or anything like that i mean it's just a damn good looking game and the ips screen really makes it pop so let's get to my final thoughts on the anbernick rg 35 xx all right so overall my impressions of the anbernick rg 35 xx is at the price point it's astounding like it, this is a high quality item like these plastics are are solid like i feel like i could drop this thing and like a game boy it would just rise from like oh okay you dropped me big freaking deal like it's a very well built system all of the buttons feel really good i will say the trigger buttons on the back kind of hit or miss they take a little bit to get used to i don't know if i'll ever get used to them but this is a device that like you just want to throw in your pocket and just if you wanted to play some retro games while you're like waiting at a doctor's office or taking a train ride or a bus ride somewhere this is the thing that you would want to do it with i think the budget price point makes it more attractive because like i said you could spend 40 50 60 more and get a device that can do more but maybe that's not what you want 
Maybe you don't need all that other stuff and you just want to play the classics on the go. This system is definitely capable of doing that. I really enjoy it. And I think at the budget price point, it's a really good pickup. So like I said, visit my friends over at keepretro.com. I'll have a link to the website in the description box down below should you want to pick one of these up. They are in stock and shipping right now. This isn't like an affiliate thing. I don't get any money if you buy it from them. So you, you can really buy it from anywhere, but they were the ones who sent it to me. So go show them some love, especially if you want me to review more products like these on my channel because, you know, they hooked me up. So thank you guys for hooking me up with this. But yeah, let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. Are you interested in this device do you have one of these devices that's been out for a little while now and as always guys thank you for checking out this video make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like share it around because the new sheriff of emulation is in town and i'm like woody yeah i don't know where i was going with that woody from toy story and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later